Hello. I wanted to ask you some questions today because you and I have been working together for six months and it's been really a pleasure watching you uh, progress and really making those changes and I am really 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 proud of you I and <laughs> wanted to yeah just to ask you a few questions about your journey to I find it always I personally love listening to other people's journeys because it I find it gives me inspiration and motivation and hope knowing I can do it too yeah so thank yeah. you for 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 doing this oh that's okay <laughs> thank you for having me on the program oh it's been really it's been a really a pleasure working with you um okay so what were your challenges before you and I started working together um Basically, it was a lot of snacking and overeating. Um, I was kind of using snacking as a way of symbolizing that that was the end of my day. Um, and so I'd finish work and come home and make myself a nice big platter of snacks. <laughs> and it, it just started becoming too much. And I started realizing that that was a bit of an issue and um, that I was relying on snacks to make everything better make my day better make me feel better um and yeah it was it was really all I was starting to think about was snacks and when's my next meal what's my next meal going to be and I wasn't really thinking about anything else it was just snacks what's for dinner what's what's in the cupboard <laughs> um and and overeating like I just I wasn't able to say no or stop when I was full anymore so yeah, that was they were really my two biggest challenges was the um snacking and overeating. Yeah. Why did it start bothering you? Why did it start worrying you? Um when the weight just kept going up and up and up gradually and I just felt a bit out of control. I felt like I'd lost control of food mm -hmm. and I'd lost my joy of food. Um, I wasn't enjoying cooking anymore or making good decisions like everything I just wanted had to be quick and easy uh, a microwave meal or something like that because I just my head was not in the space anymore to make good cho good choices yeah okay um were there some things that you tried before you joined this program yes um, I tried, I went back to Jenny Craig um, and I thought, you know, I've had success with, with that program before, so I'll try it again, but it just, it did nothing for me. Um, and I tried the online apps like Noom and Weight Watchers. Um, I tried doing keto because I thought, oh, you know, maybe I'll, <laughs> that might work for me. Mm -hmm. um, and then just having like prepackaged meals in the fridge as well. I thought, okay, well, maybe if I just, I had like a nice roast meal in the fridge with your vegetables and things like that that will just get me through um so I, I did try these things but I just I'd give up like in a few weeks I wouldn't see any results and yeah it was like no it's something else <laughs> is going on I started saying it was more in my head rather than not necessarily what I was putting in my mouth all the time yeah yeah very very, very common absolutely and um and I agree with that that most of the time it's really not what we eat it's how and when and why we eat particularly yeah. right so then you decided okay this is not going to help me at this stage um it's it's my head as, as you, as, you know using your words <laughs> um yeah so you reached out what was the reason why uh you decided to work to do this program um well it was really just one night lying in bed I actually the word addiction came into my head and I thought oh like, maybe I've got a food addiction or something you know maybe that's why I'm feeling like this um and so I just I happened to to google food addiction and um that's when the website came up and so I just looked into that further so yeah that's that's kind of when started yeah <laughs> looking into things 
Yeah. What was it about kind of what did you did you see on the website that you thought, oh yes, that's actually kind of what I'm looking for? Um I think it I could tell there was authenticity to you and to the program and the testimonials. And like I watched your TED talk and I was like, well, you know, if this lady's not doing a TED talk, she must know what she's talking about. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. <laughs> and then when I saw that you lived in, well, I don't know where you live, but the program was like based in Hamilton area. Um, I thought, oh, like this, this is near me. Like it's not, you know, just some full center in America or something like that. So it really it made me believe that the information that I was getting through the website was real mm -hmm. and that it was real people that had been through the program before. Um, and I guess the information on the website just really spoke to me, like talking about food addiction. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't something that I'd ever looked into before, but it all just made sense to me. And I guess I was you know, just reading through and everything just, made a lot of sense to me and yeah and hearing the results of other people um it's like yeah that's that's where I want to go I want to I want to have results too <laughs> yeah then you reached out and then we started working together and um so what were the changes that you noticed then um initially I think the biggest change was my thoughts around snacking um like I, I started feeling that I, I didn't have to have the snack every day when I finished work um, because it really was symbolizing the end of my day. It's like, yes, you, know, you finish for the day, you can go home, you can reward yourself, have some nice snacks, glass of lime, that type of thing. Um, so it was really noticing that I wasn't wanting to do that or needing to do that every day. That was definitely like one of the big changes that I started noticing. Um, and also like learning about the framework, the foods that you could, the foods that were good for you, like, you know, what proteins to have and fiber and fat and, you know, when to have it at the time of day. Um, that gave me a lot of satisfaction as well. And it kind of, that helped take away the cravings. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome, great. When, do you remember when you started noticing the changes? Um, I think it was about in the second month. Mm -hmm. I started noticing um, a lot of the changes um, coming through. Yeah, and I guess I just, I wasn't obsessing as much over having the snacks and that. Okay. I just kept improving from there. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, see, uh, you did. And it just always seemed really interesting because people, the reason why I'm asking that question is because I do get asked, when do I see results? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see, right? <laughs> Uh, and everyone is very different. Um, so that's why it's it's really good to hear from, you know, your experience. When was it for you? And again, everyone is very, very different as well. Yeah, well, I know that the first month was hard for me because, mm -hmm. you know, you're kind of in your head a lot and, you know, you put yourself down like, oh, I can't do this and it's not going to work. And But you just keep working through and the support that you've all given me throughout the time it's just been incredible and mm. yeah it was definitely coming into that second month that started noticing the changes in the <laughs> in your thoughts yes exactly so that yeah. that's I think that's also where the changes start really it's we change how we think and feel about food as well yeah. mm. oh definitely Good. Okay. And so now over the six months uh, later, what would you say have been sort of the most tangible results for you? Uh, mm. Well, I no longer come, <laughs> come home at the end of the day and make a big snack platter. <laughs> um, so that's been really good. And um, also the ability to say no now, um, you know, like, no, I don't need that biscuit or that piece of chocolate or that second serving. I can just happily say no without thinking anything of it um but also a big thing is at the supermarket now like walking down the aisles I just I have no temptation I can just mm. walk down the aisle I'm not looking at the bags of chips and cheeses and crackers and thinking of all the <laughs> yummy things I could make um I just yeah I just go in and get what I need for the week and and I'm done so that's been really nice to just have that temptation 
um, basically go away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that makes things easier, right? You don't need to constantly, constantly battle in your mind. No, no, exactly. Like, if, you know, I think I was always thinking about things, you know, I was always thinking, well, what's my, my next snack going to be and my next yummy food, my next mm -hmm. yummy dinner. <laughs> Where now I just eat if I'm hungry and I'm able to make better choices and it's just it's really nice now having had the education um, of understanding what foods will satisfy me and um, and I, I think just learning a lot that what might work for somebody else won't necessarily work for me mm -hmm. and figuring out what does work for me and yeah it's it's been really a, it's been a great breakthrough <laughs> awesome so so happy so who would you recommend this program to um, I think basically anyone that kind of feels like they've lost their way with food, mm. uh, like feeling out of control, obsessing over your food, um, feeling miserable. Mm. <laughs> uh, and basically at that point where you're not getting any satisfaction or results from what you're doing. Mm. So okay. yeah, I definitely recommend the program to anyone feeling like that. Mm. Definitely help me good <laughs> they're good anything else you would like to add uh say something that i haven't asked me um i think with the support from the group as well like there's been a lot of education about hormones and mm -hmm. activity um and a lot of like being 41 learning that your body reacts differently now to things once you get into your 40s so I've actually really enjoyed learning a lot about that side of things as well mm -hmm. um as to why the body reacts the way it does and you know a run for somebody might work where it doesn't for me and things like that so yeah I think the program has made me feel a lot more comfortable in my own skin mm -hmm. um and yeah just not stress so much <laughs> good awesome yeah um yeah so you're referring to the group calls that we have yeah. on a weekly basis as well to 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 the one-on-one -on -one support as well mm, absolutely and you know obviously I try to kind of come up with different topics and ideas <laughs> <laughs> that are not only food related but also <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you thank you yeah so kind of to give um, I guess other aspects um, as well other than just only kind of the eating itself yeah yeah I think there's a lot of relevance to what the program and your teachings mm. yeah like it's, it just helps with day-to-day -day life I suppose <laughs> yeah. okay thank you well thank you for all your work for showing up for doing the work because that's where the change happens yeah, I'm um, really acknowledging that for yourself. You are doing the work and it pays off. Uh, it does, yeah. And I think with the support that you get from, from you, that definitely makes it easier to do the work yourself, knowing that you've got your weekly check-ins and one-on-ones and things like that. It makes, makes you accountable. And, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Vanessa. Yeah.